It is springtime and we are all at you to get out in our gardens and get the soil ready. I'm at Concentrates in Milwaukee with Heather and Heather, we are in your warehouse right now and today we're going to be talking about um, adding natural and organic uh, materials to our soils. So where can, where can we start? What's, what's the good things to add right now? Well, uh, we have all the components to organic fertilizers here in our bulk bins and 50 pound bags, truckloads in back in our wholesale department. Um, so you can buy individual amendments if you know what you need, which you would know you because you took a soil test, which wow. we'll talk about. Or we have it pre-mixed, okay. uh, our organic fertilizer 553. We took out the best of all these ingredients and mixed them together for you. So uh -huh. we've got everything that you could need. Uh, and so you're talking about soil tests. So how important is that? I think it's paramount because uh. you're actually going to save money. You're not going to be <laughs> applying nearly as much stuff as you were thinking of applying. Uh, there's a certain test we recommend, uh, a &L Labs, full graphical analysis with recommendations. We have a handout here mm -hmm. with that information on it. Costs about $36. I guarantee you'll save more than $36 and you won't be over applying things, uh, that's which important. is never good. Right. And it'll tell you exactly what your soil is lacking exactly. or what you have too much in. Exactly. Uh. Which is even more important what you have too much already of. Right, right. Well, with organic organic things, natural things, can you over apply? Can you burn things because I added too much alfalfa meal? Alfalfa meal, probably not, mm. but you can burn with organic fertilizers, just not nearly as easily. You have a lot more wiggle room with organic fertilizers. And then another attribute about organics is that um, the plants can take it up much more slowly. It's better mm -hmm. for them. Very much better for them. They can, it mimics a natural system. Mm. They can do what they we're meant to do, they're not being forced to do anything. Uh, so Heather, let's talk s specific. So let's go to the kelp meal. What would we be using this one for? Uh, kelp meal is a great tonic for plants in general. It's 003, it has 3% potassium, which we don't need much of. And more importantly, it's full of trace minerals, which are really great for the plants. Uh, and then what would we add with that? Uh, most importantly, we usually need nitrogen. Once we've done our soil tests, sometimes okay. that's all we need is that and lime. Okay. You could use feather meal or cottonseed meal for nitrogen. Okay. Feather meal is made of ground feathers. Mm -hmm. People always ask me that. It's got an NPK of 1200, so it's 12% nitrogen. Mm. And then what's cool about this tool is it's byproducts of other industries, so you're yeah. actually using those things. Mm -hmm. And let's look at the cottonseed meal. Cottonseed meal is a real pretty color. It's mm -hmm. got an NPK of about 521, so you get some nitrogen, a little bit of phosphorus, and it's slightly acidic, so it's great for your acid-loving plants. Oh, that's great. And then I see you also have blood meal and bone meal. Blood meal is pretty much like feather meal. It's high in nitrogen. Um, it's it's just always been a popular fertilizer and it's there for you too if it's what you like to use. Okay. And then with bone meal, I've always heard that, oh, you can't use the, that if you have dogs because they're going to be digging up your plants. It really depends. I have, most of my people do use bone meal or fish bone meal and it seems to work well for them. It's high in phosphorus, ah. so it's good for your roses and your tomatoes. Hmm. And so here at Concentrates, um, you have really a lot of things to choose from, and you have it in bulk, so we can bring bags, you have bags here, so that's mm -hmm. really cool. And then you have handouts, you have classes, really, you're here to give education. We really take that seriously, yes. Uh, so we can go to your, your website and get more information, yep. too. Yep, ConcentratesNW.com. Uh, well, really, if you're interested in this, and it's really the time of year to start adding these things to your soil, come on down to Concentrates, talk to Heather and her staff, and really get all the information for the season. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.